This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hola guys, this is Amos Doll Music, and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Signing by Dionella. Alright, so very calm and relaxing, beautiful tune. Give you a preview before we start learning it. It goes like this. Alright, let's get right into it. Very beautiful. Let's break it up to four parts. It's easy to learn. So the first part, right hand starts on the E here. Middle C's here for a reference. Go up an octave C is the E up here. Okay, so let's learn it. So it's three E's. One, two, three, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, A, A, two C sharps. That's it for the first part. For the right hand, let's learn it once again. So it goes E, 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 C sharp, D, C sharp, B, A, A, up to C sharp, C sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have D major 7, which is D, F sharp, A, C sharp. With that chord in mind, two hands together goes like this. So E and chord together. Like that. Just the first note and first chord together, and you hold the chord while you play the right hand. Alright, now moving on, the second part is pretty much nearly the same. Right hand is uh, exactly the same except for the last note. Instead of two C sharps, it goes C sharp B. So like this. C sharp B, like that. Alright, so E, 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 C sharp D, C sharp B, A, A, C sharp B. It's just the last note is different. And then left hand chord is also different. It's B minor 7, which is B, D, F sharp, A. Alright, that's it. Okay, two hands together goes like this. First note, first chord together once again. like that for the second part. Let's learn it once again. So it goes together. Alright, back to back. The two parts of blown so far will be played like this. Like that. Moving on to the third part. Third part right continues. Goes three E's. One, two, three, F sharp, A, B, C sharp, A, F sharp. Like that. That's it for the third part. Let's learn it again. So E, 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 F sharp, A, B, C sharp, A, F sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have C sharp minus seven, which is C sharp, E, G sharp, B. All right, with that chord in mind, two hands together goes like this. Okay, right hand starts with the first two E's. Third E and chord together. Like that. And let's learn it again. So it goes one, two, together. That's it for the third part. Back to back, the three parts of blown so far will be played like this. Moving on to the fourth and last part, right hand goes down to C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, D, E, up to B, A. That's it for the right hand. All right, let's learn it once again. So it goes C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, D, E, up to B, A. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have E minor seven, which is E, G, B, D, and then second chord A major, A, C sharp, E. With these two chords in mind, so E minor seven, A major, the two hands together goes like this. So right hand starts, third C sharp and chord together. B and A major together, like that. Let's learn it again, so it goes together, together. <clears throat> all right, that's the last part. So back to back, all four parts of the lesson will be played like this. Repeat. Hey. 
Beautiful. All right. So once you get the melody and chords up, it's all good. You can start to add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make your own version. Left hand, you can do octave bass and then rhythmic patterns, arpeggios. Kind of thing, okay? And right hand, you can harmonize the bass on the chords, so play around. Beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like how I teach in this video, how I break everything up step by step, part by part, you will most likely find another song that you'd like to learn by typing in your favorite song name followed by Amos Doll in the search bar because I have over 10,000 piano videos on YouTube. If you want to go further beyond into learning music theory, playing by ear and improvisation, you can learn from my piano courses on my website bestpianomethod.com linked in my description and bio. There you will also find my song request services where you can request any song of your choice for me to make into a cover, a lesson or sheet music. As for now, enjoy the rest of my content on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram and Facebook and see you all next time.